turn with me to Mark chapter 9, verse 14 through verse 29. Remain standing in honor of the word of God. Twende pamoja katika kitabu cha Marko 9, kumi na ine, hadi shirini, na tisa. Na tisa. Come on, let's read it together. And when he came to the disciples, he saw a great multitude around them and scribes disputing with them. Immediately when they saw him, all the people were greatly amazed and running to him, greeted him. And he asked the scribes, what are you discussing with them? Then one of the crowd answered and said, teacher, I brought you my son who has a mute spirit. And wherever it sizes him or seizes him, it throws him down. He forms at the mouth, gnashes his teeth and becomes rigid. So I spoke to your disciples that they should cast it out, but they could not. He answered him and said, O oh, faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him to me. Then they brought him to him, and when he saw him, immediately the spirit conversed him, and he fell on the ground and wallowed forming at the mouth. So he asked his father, How long has this been happening to him? And he said, from childhood. And often he has thrown him both into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said to him, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Immediately, the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, deaf and dumb spirit, I command you, come out of him and enter him no more. Then the spirit cried out, confessed him greatly and came out of him and he became as one dead so that many said, he's dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up and he arose. And when he had come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, why could we not cast it out? So he said to them, this kind can come out, but nothing but prayer and fasting. Marko chisa, mstaro kumina ine, hadi shirina chisa bibili nasema, hata walipo wafikia, wanafunzi, waliona mkutano mkuu, wakiwazunguka, na wandishi, wakijadiliana nao, Mara mkutano wote walipomwona walishangaa wakamwendea mbio wakamsalimu akawauliza mnajadiliana nini nao mtu mmoja katika mkutano akamjibu mwalimu nimemleta mwanangu kwako ana pepo bubu na kila ampaga hapo humbwaga chini naye hutoka povu na kusaga meno na kukon, na kuko, kukonda nikasema na wanafunzi wako wamtoe pepo wasiweze akawajibu akasema enyi kizazi kisichoamini nikae nanyi hata lini nichukuliani nanyi hata lini mleteni kwangu wakamleta kwake hata alipomwona mara yule pepo alimtia kifafa naye akanguka chini akagaga akitokwa na povu akamuliza babaye amepatwa na haya tangu lini akasema tangu utoto Na mara nyingi amemtupa katika moto na katika maji akamwangamize akama, lakini ukiweza neno ukiweza neno lolote utuhurumie na kutusaidia Yesu akamwambia ukiweza yo, ukiweza yote yanawezekana kwake aaminie mara babaye yule kijana akapaza sauti akasema Naamini nisaidie kutokuamini kwangu. Na Yesu akiona ya kuwa mkutano unakusanyika mbio akamkemea yule pepo mchafu akamwambia, "Ewe pepo bubu na kiziwi, mimi na kuamuru mtoke huyu wala usimwingie tena." Akalia akamtia kifafa sana, akamtoa, akamtoka, naye akawa kama amekufa hata wengi wakasema amekufa. Lakini Yesu akamshika mkono akamuinua Naye akasimama hata alipo ingia nyumbani wanafunzi wake wakamuuliza kwa faraga 
mbona sisi hatukuweza kumtoa akawaambia namna hii haiwezi kutoka kwa neno lolote isipokuwa kwa kuomba the world has changed ulimwengu umebadilika we move from one place to the other uh, very fast faster than our forefathers used to tunatoka mahali kwingine na kwenda kwingine kwa haraka sana kuliko mababa zetu we send messages instantly compared to our parents who would wait for six months to get a reply from a letter they had written six months ago tunatuma ujumbe kwa haraka sana kulingana na vile wazazi walikuwa wakifanya zamani wangesubiri miezi sita we have power in our houses and right now our food is warmed through microwave compared to our parents who would use firewood tuko na nguvu za umeme na chakula chetu tunatumia kingepashwa moto kutumia hiyo microwave kulingana na question that man has evolved and man is doing things better than they used to do then hiyo ni thibitisho kwamba mwanadamu amezidi kuongezeka ujuzi na maarifa but how many understand that the devil has also upped his game ni wangapi wanafahamu ya kwamba hata shetani pia ameongeza kimaarifa. He's no longer the two horned demon that had red eyes and dark skin that would come and scare you during your dreams. He is a very beautiful and very cunning creature. Si yule shetani mwenye pembe na mweusi angalie kuja na kukutisha lakini sasa amekuwa mtanashati na mrembo. Probably he even takes time to do manicure and pedicure. He looks handsome. Sasa anatengeneza kucha zake na anaonekana mtanashati. And I believe he has also changed his weapons just like we've used uh, we've changed things that we use today. Na pia naamini amebadilisha mbinu zake na silaha zake vile sisi tumebadilisha. He has changed his weapons against us and has weaponized us to destroy ourselves. Na amebadilisha mbinu za silaha zake kwake ili tukaweze kujiangamiza. And one of the most powerful weapons that he has used or he's using currently is the weapon known as despair. Na silaha moja wapo anayoitumia kwetu ni ile ya kukata tamaa. And if you are in need for too long na kama uko katika hiyo hali ya kukata tamaa kwa muda mrefu you will realize that it has the capability to paralyze a person na and strangle their life out of them na inaweza ina ku, kufanya ukaweze kupoza kimaisha despair has a way of making us or causing you to, uh, to, to, to expect the worst in life as opposed to the best in life na kukata tamaa ina uwezo wa kukufanya ukaweze kutazamia maovu maishani mwako but i've come this morning lakini asubuhi ya leo nimekuja being our first sunday this month katika jumapili ya kwanza mwezi huu and therefore it qualifies to be a mission sunday kwa hivyo ni jumapili ya umishenari and therefore i'm going to talk a mission minded message to us kwa hivyo nitaenda kuleta ujumbe wa kimishenari and i want to speak to us nataka ni nene nanyi on a message entitled katika ujumbe unaosema in this year of god's greatness all things possible katika mwaka huu wa ukuu wa bwana mambo yote yanawezekana despair should not be part and parcel of our life ukukata tamaa haistahili kuwa sehemu ya maisha yetu because with god all things are possible kwa sababu kwa mungu yote yanawezekana we despair because we are not with god tunakata tamaa kwa maana hatuko na mungu Oh how we should be with God so that we can be strengthened. Inatupasa tukaweze kuwa na Mungu ili tukatiwe nguvu. You see this prayer can paralyze you and immobilize you. Na kukata tamaa kunaweza kufanya ukose hisia na kupoza. It also stops you from seeking help. Na pia inakuzuia kutafuta msaada. It also causes you to not see how you can improve your life. Na pia inakufanya usione vile unaweza kuongeza maisha mwako kwa kufanya bora. And this prayer can also cause you not to take action that is positive towards your fellow believer. Na pia kukata tamaa inaweza kufanya usiweze kuchukua mambo yanayoweza kuboresha. This is what this prayer does. Na hivi ndio kukata tamaa inaweza fanya. You start out with high ideas to reach out and desire to see souls won for the lord 
kwanza ukiwa na mawazo makuu ya kufikia na kuhubiria wengine then despair comes and tells you they are not even changing they are faking na kukata tamaa inakuja inakuonyesha kwamba hata hawabadiliki and therefore it paralyzes you you cannot speak to the next soul na sasa nakufanya kufa ganzi na moyo you begin a cell hoping that it will multiply unaanzisha ushirika unadhani kwamba utaendelea but you don't see much change you are the same two three members of the cell for the longest period of time and after a while you get tired and get discouraged and therefore you stop being creative you stop getting closer to people because the more you get closer to them the more they disappoint you so you despair Unaanza kukosa kuwafikiria watu kwa maana vile mradi unawafikia ndio wanakufanya unavunjika moyo. And you decide to watch them from afar. Na bado unamfanya uamuzi wa kuwatazama wakiwa mbali. You pray for the nation to be blessed. Unaombea taifa libarikiwe. But the politician keeps on plundering it. Lakini wanasiasa wanaizidi kuiharibu. You get discouraged and stop praying. Unaanza kuvunjika moyo na kuacha kuomba. After all there will still be violence after elections. Na hata hivyo baada ya uchaguzi kutakuwa na vita. This tu. have been the cycle year in year out. Bado ni hayo tu yana matokeo baada ya mwaka hadi mwingine. Why pray yet they will still fight? <laughs> Kwa nini uombe na bado watapigana? As a matter of fact I'm not even going to vote. <laughs> na hata zaidi ya yote sitapiga kura. Tell your neighbor despair. Bia jirani yako kuvunjika moyo kukata tamaa in this year of god's greatness katika mwaka huu wa hukumu all mungu, things are possible mambo yote yanawezekana the nation can fail to shed blood na hiyo taifa inaweza kukosa kumwaga damu elections can be free and fair na because with god all things are possible kwa mungu yote yanawezekana come on somebody amen you want to reach to the unreached but the resources are not there you want to help your relatives but the salary has been cut into half unataka kusaidia wapendwa wako lakini mshahara hakuna you want to reach out to someone who is desperate but when you go there you realize that you are also as desperate as they are you didn't eat last night so you despair unataka kufikiria mtu ambaye amevunjika moyo na ukifika hapo hata wewe unajipata uwezi msaidia tell your neighbor with god all things are possible kwa Mungu yote yanawezekana. If I didn't eat last night with God, it's not lack of food, it's fasting. Hallelujah. Kama sijakula usiku, kosa chakula ni kufunga. Hallelujah. Amen. A time is coming I'm going to break the fast. Na wakati tafika nitafungua. Kwa Mungu yote yanawezekana. It all gets overwhelming. Inafika mahali unashindwa kuvumilia. And you get a point to whereby you want to ignore everything. Na inafika mahali unataka kupuza kila kitu. You can't change the world, so why not forget about it? Uwezi kubadilisha ulimwengu, kwa hivyo ni afadhali usahau. And just make yourself comfortable as the rest of the world. Una ukajifanye kuwa sawa kama vile wengine. These are just but a few ways that despair can deal with an individual. Na hayo ni mambo machache ambayo kukata tamaa inaweza kumfanya mtu. When you despair and give up, do you see the devil there with horns? Je, unapovunjika moyo na kukata tamaa, unamuona shetani hapo mwenye pembe? When you give up and neglect things, do you see the devil there with all the tail that we were taught to understand he had saying, "Yeah, uta give up." No, 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 no. Do you see the devil there? Je, unamuona shetani hapo? The devil just weaponized you and you gave up. Na shetani alikutumia kwa kukata tamaa. <laughs> Sorry devil, we know you now. Sasa tumekutambua shetani. So he makes you to despair and you start believing that nothing can ever change. The more things change, the more they remain the same. Anakufanya kukata tamaa na kuamini ya kwamba mambo hayawezi kubadilika. But with God. Lakini kwa Mungu everything is possible. Yote yanawezekana. I want you to get that word. With God. With God. Na Mungu au kwa Mungu all things mambo yote are possible yanawezekana Can you take us back to Mark 9:23 please Twende Marko 9:23 tafadhali Jesus said to him 
If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Yesu akamwambia ukiweza yote yawezekana kwake aaminie. Take us to verse 28, uh, 22, 22 please 22. The, what Jesus is answering is as a result of a question for, from a person who has already despaired. Yesu anapojibu hili lilikuwa ni swali kwa kutokana na mtu aliyekata tamaa. Look at part B. But if you can do anything, but if you can if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. If you can and God Jesus looks at him and says, if you can, not me, you. If you can, don't talk about what I can do. Talk about what you can do. Change your faith and it will be done for you. Si kile Yesu anaweza kutenda lakini kile wewe unaweza kufanya the man in his doubt yako. the man in his doubt he says if you can help us in verse 23 Jesus says if you can not me if you can na yule mtu aliyekuwa ametia shaka anamuuliza Yesu ya kwamba akiwa anaweza lakini mstari wa 23 Yesu anamwambia wewe ukiweza all things are possible. Mambo yote yanawezekana. Including changing your faith. Hata kubadilisha imani yako. From doubt to believing. Kutokana na shaka from, hadi kufanikiwa From despair, from despair to being encouraged. Kutoka kuvunjika na kukata tamaa hadi kutiwa moyo. If you can, all things are possible. Ukitaka mambo yote yanawezekana. You don't have to expect the worst. The worst expect the best. Hauna haja kutazamia maovu, tazamia mazuri. You cannot find your way into the mess you are in right now. Hauwezi kujipata au kupata njia kuingia mahali uko sasa. You may not see how your effort can make a difference today. Hauwezi unaweza kuwa hauoni zile uwezo unaweza kufanya. But listen, if you stop looking into yourself Ukiacha kujiangalia wewe mwenyewe and stop looking at yourself na kuanza kuacha kujitazama let me repeat that if you stop looking at yourself long enough to look at Jesus all things will become possible ukiacha kujitazama na umtazame Yesu yote yanawezekana with God all things are possible kwa Mungu yote yanawezekana in this story I see three characters. I don't know where we will find ourselves in these characters. The first character is the crowd. The crowd had despaired in life. Lile kusanyiko walikuwa wamekata tamaa maishani. And they were out there looking for entertainment to be entertained. Na walikuwa kukule wakitafuta kitu cha kuwaburudisha. It didn't matter where it, it would come from. Whether from Christ, from the Pharisees, Sadducees, whoever, the magician. Let them come, bring Hai it on. Haikujalisha kiburudisha kingetoka wapi. Wacha tukifike. And the best they could do is to argue with those who are doing something. And therefore they started arguing with the disciples. Na wangeanza kujibizana na watu wote na hapo wanajibizana na wanafunzi. There was nothing much happening in their physical and spiritual lives. Hakuna chochote kilikuwa kinafanyika katika maisha yao ya kiroho na kimwili. And therefore they resulted to arguing with the disciples at the expense of the sick boy. Kwa hivyo walianza kujibizana na hali yule kijana akiumia. Despair. Kata tamaa will always discredit Na kukata tamaa daima kutaanza kudharau kutatoa na makosa kila wakati mhm mm kutadharau kila wakati tell your neighbor I'm more than what I'm seeing today mimi ni zaidi vile najiona leo come on tell them i can do all things naweza kuyatenda yote through christ who gives me strength kupitia kristo anayenitia nguvu for with christ Maana kwa Kristo all things are possible. Yote yanawezekana. Come on all things are possible. Yote yanawezekana. Let me hear you all things are possible. Mambo yote yanawezekana. What does that tell us today about the crowd? Je, hiyo inatuambia nini kulingana na lile kusajiko? When Jesus comes he find a cell leader 
arguing with these people who don't want to see that these are the disciples. This is a cell leader. This is a leader in the church. He can pray for he, and wako eh fanyeni tuone. Mm washashindwa. Haikutoka. Munajaribu nini? The Lord does not say that. They are arguing. They are arguing what to eat, what not to eat. And then Jesus shows up. Na wanajibizana alafu Yesu anatokelezea. Jesus shows up. And when he talks to them he asks, what are you arguing about? Then a person shouts in the uh, in the crowd, and this is the father of the son said, No, I brought this child to your disciples. Oh, no, 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 nothing transpired. Blah, 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 blah. I said, Bring that child here. And at that moment, I can only imagine what transpired when the son got healed. The entire congregation got converted. Tell your neighbor number one in the character of the crowd, number one with Christ or with God missions is possible Mwambie jirani yako katikati mwa wale kusanyiko kwa Mungu umishionari unawezekana Come on tell your neighbor missions is possible Umishionari unawezekana With God all things are possible number one, missions is possible kwa with Mungu, God on our side Kwa Mungu yote yanawezekana umishionari unawezekana Mungu akiwa upande wetu It doesn't matter how you fail to convince your peers your friends your workmates when Jesus appears oh my goodness they will turn their deaf ears to hearing what God is saying Haijalishi unaweza kuwa umeshindwa kuwashawishi majirani na rafiki zako lakini Yesu akiwa pale wote their arguments will cease to exist. Hakutakuwa na majibizano tena. Because when Christ appears, missions is possible. Kwa hivyo Yesu akiwa pale, umishionari unawezekana. Come on, let's look at Romans 10:14. Twende pamoja katika Warumi 10 14 hadi This is what we read. How then shall they call on him whom they have not believed? How? Come on, ask yourself how. Uh-huh. And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? Ask yourself, how? Come on. And how shall they hear without a preacher? Ask yourself, how? how? Verse 15. <laughs> and how shall they preach unless they are sent? Ask yourself, how? how? Tell your neighbor with God, missions is possible. So you expect God to come and send them with a chariot of fire? You are the one sending the preacher. Wewe oh, ndio unatuma <laughs> As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel of peace, who bring glad tidings of good things. Come on, read it for us in Swahili. Mstari wa 14, basi wamwiteje yeye wasie mwamini. Tena wamaminije yeye wasie msikia. Tena wamsikieje pasipo muhubiri. Tena wahubirije wasipo pelekwa. Kama ilivyo ndikwa ni mizuri kama nini miguu ya wahubirio habari ya mema. You see senders have no room for despair. Wale wanao tuma hawana nafasi ya kukata tamaa. And those being sent have no room for despair. Na wale walio tuma hawana nafasi ya kukata tamaa. Why? Kwa nini? There is a dying world out there that needs to hear this gospel. Kuna ulimwengu ambao unapotea kule unaohitaji kusikia neno. That boss of yours needs the gospel. Na yule mkubwa wako kazini anahitaji injili. That colleague of yours needs the gospel. Na yule mfanyikazi mwenzako anahitaji injili. How will they hear if you're despaired? Je, watasikia vipi kama How will they tamaa? hear if you give up? Je, watasikia vipi ukikata tamaa? Na you who is seated here and probably you don't have an office, how can that office be reached if you don't send someone? <laughs> Na wewe ambaye hauna ofisi, ile ofisi itafikiliwaje kama hautumani mtu? Tell your neighbor with God, missions is possible. Mwambie jirani yako kwa Mungu, missionary inawezekana. The second group of people is the disciples. Na kikundi cha pili cha watu ni wanafunzi. Though they have been with in the company of Christ for all this time. Japo wamekuwa na Kristo mda huu wote. They arrived at a position where they decided to give up and despair. Na wamefika mahali ambapo wameamua kukata tamaa. Why? Kwa nini? 
Christ had stepped out for a minute and they are no longer with him. They can't feel him. They can't see him. They cannot see things working as he was doing things. So they gave up. Na Yesu amejitenga nao kwa muda na mambo hayaendi vile wamezoea sasa wanakata tamaa. Does that sound familiar? Leo tumeabudu lakini presence haikushuka. Inaonekana God haiko kwa hiyo church siku hizi. Despair. Hata nilikuwa tunaomba tunaomba lakini umeombi sisikii kisukuma. Sisikii sisikii kigusa. Inaonekana upako ishahe papasi. Mhm. Despair. Kata tamaa. Christ steps out for a minute. And instead of praying you start arguing with people at yo oh, bible is among evil at ya hata huyu leader squeeze oh ah hata barawa squeeze you ah naweza interpret better than yeye oh hata pasi hiyo neno hakuitoa vile naweza mhm come on say lord have mercy on me bwana unihurumie this is what the disciples are doing na hivi ndio wanafunzi wanafanya and in the process they allowed the crowd that had despaired to pull them into their despair na wa muda wanaruhusu lile kundi ambao wamekata tamaa liwaingize katika ukata tamaa and in the process they lost focus on the job that Christ wanted them to perform letting this son be set free no wonder jesus is telling them for how long shall i be with you oh you faithless people na wanatoka katika njia na kuwacha chenye kristo aliwataka wafanye ndiposa anawauliza nitakuwa nanyi kwa muda gani notice the question that christ asked the moment he comes back angalia lile swali ambalo kristo anauliza linaporudi in verse 16 He says, what are you arguing about with them? Je, mnajibizana nao kuhusu nini? What are you arguing with them about? Well, is it any of your business what they believe and what they don't believe? Your business is to believe and know that all things are possible. Je, inawahusu nini kama wanaamini ama wasioamini? Kazi yenu ni kuamini. Forget about what never worked. Sahau kile hakukufanyika. Forget what is not working. Wachana kile hakifanyi kazi. Forget the breakthrough that you anticipated and never happened. Wachana na ule penyo ulitazamia na hukua. And instead of giving up on God, give up on those hopes that you had that didn't make it and start hoping for those that will make it. Hello. Na badala ya kukata tamaa, anza ku Somebody listening to me. Amen. Stop clinging to outdated hopes. Stand and say your mercies are new every day. I'm moving forward for with you all things are possible. Forget the past, look at the future. Focus on Christ. Mm-hmm. Stop hanging on on stale, stale hopes. Wachana kuaganda. Wachana na mambo yaliyopita na matumaini yaliyopita. Oh, by the time niko 25 nitakuwa na masters. Alafu mm. ukiangalia hata degree ujaanza. Ndio. <laughs> you are still saying 25 and the devil anakuambia 25 uko 30. <laughs> you despair. <laughs> Unakata tamaa. Oh, nikifika 26 nitakuwa na kanyumba kangu na kagari and then you look at yourself you are still walking. Na bado unatembea and you are not even renting you are being housed. And you are still hanging on nikiwa 26 uko 34. Mhm. Stop holding on to the vision that never happened and stop dwelling on the past. Tell God, I'm here because you intended me to be here. I'm focusing on you on the cross in the meantime. All things belong to you and I'm ready to receive when you are ready to release. Mambo yote ni yako na mimi niko tayari kupokea. Tell your neighbor all things are possible. Bila jirani yako yote yanawezekana. With God all things are possible. Kwa Mungu yote yanawezekana. When Jesus asked them What are you arguing? Na Yesu anapooliza mnajibizana kuhusu nini? He simply trying to ask the disciples. Anajaribu kuwauliza Why are you allowing this pair to degrade you to the level of the people you are arguing with? Kwa nini unaruhusu kukata tamaa ikushushe kufikia kiwango cha wale watu unaojibizana nao? Why are you joining the bandwagon of unbelief? Kwa nini unajiunga na wale watu wasioamini? Why are you degrading yourself? Why are you losing faith? I just stepped out for a minute and you know unto the Lord a thousand years is like a day and a day is like a thousand years. So I've stepped out for a thousand years and you're complaining. What if I would have gone for a thousand? 
Wewe nimetoka nje kiasi tu na wewe umeanza kunungunika. He stepped out for a second and you have gone to the level of the people who do not believe. Ametoka nje kwa muda na wewe umejishusha kufikia kiwango cha wale watu. Tell yourself my time is coming. Jiambie wakati wangu unafika. And I'm not going to despair. Na sitakata tamaa. I'm holding on. For with God all things are possible. Kwa Mungu yote yanawezekana. It's like Jesus was trying to tell them what is written in Exodus 23. Yesu alikuwa anaambia kile kimeandikwa katika kitabu cha kutoka 23. Verse 1 to 3. Mstari wa kwanza hadi wa tatu. You shall not circulate a false report do not put your hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. Verse 2 says you shall not follow a crowd to do Come on let's repeat it you shall not follow the crowd to do evil nor shall you testify in a dispute so as to turn aside after many to pervert justice let's stop at verse 2 read it for us in Swahili Usivumishe habari za uongo usitie mkono wako pamoja na movu kuwa shahidi wa udhalimu usiandamane na mkutano kutenda uovu wala usitie ushahidi wako katika neno lolote kwa kugeukia kando na kuandamana na mkutano ili kupotoa the fact humo. that many people are saying it will never work doesn't qualify you to say the same for you serve a mighty god vile watu wanasema kwamba haiwezekani hiyo si haikuruhusu kujumuika na wao the fact that the many that are surrounding you their arguments are contrary to your argument doesn't make them right na vile watu hata kama ni watu wengi wanaozungumza kuhusu mambo yanayosimama kinyume na imani yao haiwafanyi kosa. It's like kwasawa. Jesus is telling the disciples consecrate yourself, set yourself apart, set yourself apart from the multitude and all things shall become possible. Na Yesu anawaambia mkaweze kujitenga na kusanyiko na mambo yote yatawezekana. Number two. Ya pili. With God kwa consecration mungu, is possible. Ukiwa na Mungu utakaso unawezekana. You can be set apart for greater things. Unaweza kutengenezwa kutenganishwa na You can be wakfu. set apart for missions. Unaweza kuwekwa kando You can be set apart for greater things that God has in store for Unaweza you. Unaweza kuwekwa kando na wakfu kwa mambo ya Mungu. Number one, with God missions is possible. Ya kwanza ni kwamba ukiwa na Mungu kwa missionary inawezekana. Number two, with God consecration is possible na ukiwa na mungu kuwekwa wakfu na takatifu inawezekana the third bunch of people or persons that i see is the father and a sick child na kikundi cha tatu ni baba na mwana aliyegonjeka this man had done it all to see the son get cured na huyu mtu alikuwa amejaribu yote ili mwanawe apate uponyaje but nothing happened lakini hakuna lolote liko lime when you see your son when you see your loved one the moment you bring them for a solution that's when it gets worse who will not give up ni nani hatakana tamaa ukiona umeletwa mpendo mpendo wako ili apate suluhisho na uponyaji na mambo yanazidi kuharibika who wouldn't give up Hakuna asiyeweza kukata tamaa. It's getting worse just when you're about to get a solution it gets worse. Mambo yanazidi kuharibika unapokuwa tayari kupata suluhisho. Does it sound familiar? Mhm. How many have ever seen it happening in their life? The more we pray the more kina umana. Mhm. <laughs> the more una fast the more vitu azitokelezei. Mhm. Alafu unaona kama mtu fulani tu na huko kanaendaka kwa wachawi kame kamefaulu. Unashangaa. Uh -huh. Ai. What is happening? Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Those are the last kicks of a dying horse. Eh eh, hizo ni hatua za mwisho ya mtu anayeangamia. Don't give up. Sikate tamaa. This situation got worse when the son was brought to Jesus instead of getting better. Hali ya huyu mwana inazidi kuharibika na kuwa mbaya wanapoletwa kwa Kristo. You need to comfort yourself in this. Na kupasa kujitia moyo kwa haya. Before Jesus asked for the son, nothing had happened. But when Jesus asked bring him here the demon came fighting why why come on somebody why As kabla Yesu amwite yule kijana mambo ilikuwa haijaharibika lakini alipoitwa shetani akalipuka because Jesus comes to rearrange 
things that have been put in a messy situation by the devil. Kwa maana Yesu anakuja kurekebisha na kuweka mambo ya sawa vile alivyoharibiwa na shetani. If you want it nice and quiet, ukiataka mambo yafanyike kipole pole, don't ask Jesus into your life. Usimuite Yesu maishani mwako. I'll give you a very simple example. Nitakupatia mfano rahisi. The house you live in is very beautiful, isn't it? Ile nyumba unaishi ni nzuri, si ndio? The owner loves it as it is. Na yule mwenyewe anaipenda vile iko. But let me ask you a question. If you buy it, will you retain it the way it is? Lakini ukinunua, je, utaiacha vile iko? Can I hear an answer here? Mm-mm. You will come and say mimi nitabadilisha hapa huyu mtu wako weka hivi you will start rearranging things and in the process kutakuwa na vumbi kutakuwa kugonga gonga kutakuwa kubomoa bomoa na kujenga upya true or false kweli kabisa so you want Christ to come into your life and allow everything the devil had set in place to remain and everything to be okay no jesus will always demolish what he didn't build so that he can build his own Yesu ataenda kubomoa kile alichojenga ili akaweze kujenga yeye mwenyewe. He is the new tenant in the house. He is the new landlord. Allow him to rearrange things. That's why the devil had to come and fight. I still own this thing and he was all come out. I don't care. Yeye ni mwenyewe sasa ndiye amenunua hiyo mahali mwacha kaweze kurekebisha. I need to rearrange everything so that I can be comfortable where I own. Inanipasa nikaweze kurekebisha ili nikaweze kuridhika. Now listen to this. Jesus asked the father, for how long has this been? Na anamuuliza baba, hii imekuwa kwa muda gani? And the man says from childhood. Anamwambia toka utotoni. Meaning this boy was a grown up probably 20 years. Na huyu inamaanisha huyu alikuwa ni kijana mkubwa. And he said it has always done this thrown him into the fire into the water. Hiyo ni mchanganyiko maalum. Unajua umechemshwa, alafu kapoeshwa, you know, you are you're in the fire, you in cold water. It's na never known. Na akimtupa motoni na majini. It's no wonder this father had despaired. He had seen this trouble ever since the child was born. Si ajabu ya kwamba huyu baba alikuwa amekata tamaa. No wonder he never expected anything good to happen. Na si ajabu ya kwamba hakutazamia chochote chema. The child has been like this as long as the father could remember. Alikuwa hivi toka utotoni. Then why expect anything to change? Je, unatazamia nini kibadilike? This Spirit was mysterious and powerful the father could not understand it. Na hii roho ilikuwa ni ya nguvu na haieleweki. And it seemed that nothing could dislodge this spirit from the boy. Na hakuna chochote kinaonekana kinawezekana kutoa hii roho. And when this man came to the disciples of the great healer, the disciples did nothing. So he continued to despair. Na huyu alipomleta kwa wanafunzi, wanafunzi wakofanya jambo na akazidi kukata tamaa. The best thing that the disciples could do is to argue with fellow men. Na kile wanafunzi walifanya ni kujibizana. No wonder this man expected less. Na si ajabu huyu mtu hakutazamia mengi. No wonder this man had to hide himself in the crowd because when Jesus asked what is going on from the crowd that's when he said eh ni mtoto wangu eh, eh. <laughs> Diposa akajificha kwenye kundi. And then the statements if you can do something. Wengine washashindwa. Wao oh, unaona no, utatoboa if you can. Ukiweza kufanya jambo. But Jesus says no if you can. Kini Yesu anamwambia wewe ukiweza. If you can. Wewe ukiweza. Doubts are limiting beliefs meant to delay the process ahead of you. Shaka ni Imani iliyo na mipaka inayo uh, inayozuia hali ya kwenda mbele ni imani iliyo na mipaka that's doubt mm-hmm. shaka ni imani iliyo na mipaka ni, ni ima, unajua hata shaka pia ni doubt is also a belief but it's limiting you <laughs> hey, inakuzuia <laughs> unaona itafanyika kweli tutatoboa kweli unaona hii mwaka kweli ni kifaulu that's why jesus said if you can yes, come on if you can do what If you can believe, ukiweza kuamini, all things are possible with Mambo yote yanawezekana. So therefore that simply means your breakthrough, upenyo wako is dependent on your belief. Inategemea kuamini kwako. Do you believe today all things are possible? Je, unaamini leo yote yanawezekana? Jesus was telling the man, 
You've been depending on witch doctors. You've been depending on magicians. You've been depending on human beings, including my disciples. And now you are seeing me as a human being. And you're asking me if I can. It's not a possibility of what I can. It's what you can through believing. Si kile mimi ninaweza, lakini ni kile wewe unaweza kupitia imani. If you depend on your own power. Ukitegemea nguvu zako. And if you just concentrate on your circumstances na ukiangalia zile hali zako you will eventually reach to a complete state of despair utafika mahali kwa kukata tamaa number 3 finally ya tatu with god kwa mungu come on with god restoration is possible kwa mungu uregesho unawezekana come on let's start it from the top with god number 1 with god missions is mm -hmm. number 2 with god consecration is possible number 3 with god restoration is possible uregesho inawezekana kwa mungu don't concentrate on your situations wewe usiangalie hali yako focus on jesus muangalie yesu he won it all yeye alishinda just for you kwa ajili yako that's when and that's where you need Christ most when you focus on him then you will need him more when you focus on him everything surrounding you becomes pale and becomes very unclear but Christ becomes more clearer and the more clearer he becomes the more you see the vision unfold vile unavyomtazama Kristo ndio mambo yanayokuzunguka yanazidi kupotea na ile au maono yako yanazidi kuwa wazi The father of the demon possessed child had to look beyond the demon and the power it had. Na yule baba ilibidi atazame zaidi ya yale mapepo. The father had to look past the disappointments he had gone through. Yule baba ilibidi akaweze kuangalia zaidi ya kule kushushwa moyo. He had to look be beyond the discouragements he had had before. Alimpa ilimpasa angalie zaidi ya kule kuvunjika moyo. And he had to come to a position of realizing what Christ can do. Na alifika ilimpasa kufika mahali aone Yesu anaweza kutenda nini. For it is possible with everyone who believes. Kwa maana inawezekana kwa yule yote anayeamini. The disciples on the other hand. Wanafunzi yule upande mwingine had to come to the realization that they are failure and they are getting bogged down by the arguments of others and with the arguments with others came as a result of relying on themselves kule kushindwa kwao ni ni kutokana na wao wenyewe while they should have been praying and focusing on jesus nala ya kuwa wa kuomba na kumtazama yesu let's rise up on our feet tusimame kwa miguu yetu And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May the Lord make his face shine upon you Amen. and be gracious to you. Amen. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you Amen. and give you peace. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now.